If you want to know how to make a key card proximity problem door in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a key card proximity prompt door. Um, so to sum that up, uh, we're going to be making a door which requires a key card. And if you hold that key card and you press E on the door, you'll be granted access. You get the point. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. It really helps me out a lot. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And I don't have anything more to say. So we can already be starting off. So first of all, you want to make the key card, of course, because what are you going to do without a key card, you know? Yeah, I have no idea. You have no idea. I have also no idea. So, we're going to be fixing that today. So, we're going to be making a part. I'm just going to make it a huge key card. I'm just going to keep it like that. Make sure to name it Handle. Handle. With a capitalized H. If you don't do that, it's not going to work for you. Nope. Nope, 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 it's not. It's so we're just gonna make the, the the door, and we're gonna be making well door module. Why not making the door and the key card? We're gonna be putting the key card in there, and this is going to be our key card, of course, which you can grab, uh, and it will be getting into your character. So we're gonna, be, we're gonna be adding a proximity prompt to that, and we're gonna be adding a script to that. So add in a script and a proximity prompt in the handle. Um. Nothing really to change here. I'm just gonna change the whole duration to one. And my num lock is off. Okay, one. And in the script, it's pretty fairly simple. You wanna do script, script, the parent, script the parent dot proximity prompt dot triggered. Colon connect function player. So now you have to find the player once it gets triggered. And we can do if player the backpack. Colon, find first child. Key card with a capitalized K and C. Then, what we're going to do if not, so if there is no key card, then we're going to clone one. So, what we're going to be doing, we're going to go over here. Local server storage is because the game, colon, get service, server storage, like that. And in the server storage, you want to copy that. You want to add in a tool. A tool like that. You want to name it key card with a capitalized K and C, as I said. Just want to do that. And then uh, you want to go and paste that handle in, but delete just delete the proximity prompt and the script from that. So in server storage, get the key card, make it a tool, name it key card, and put a part named handle. Uh, you want to put can I uh, no, you can keep it on no now we can do server storage dot key card what we're gonna do colon wade for child key card colon clone dot parent is equals to player dot player colon wade for child backpack so that's basically it and over here instead of that you just want to do colon wait for child backpack. So now what we're doing, we're waiting for the proximity prompt to be triggered. So like if you like want to finalize this holding E, we're gonna make it a function out of the player. We're gonna be defining our player. We're gonna be checking if there is a key card in the backpack. And if not, we're just gonna clone one. Really, really simple. So of course I am a man of my word and I always need to test my creations. That's exactly that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right now. So over here, we're just gonna hold E. Oh, we didn't have it, and now we got a key card in our inventory. In the inventory, now if we hold E again, we are not gonna get another one because we have a key card in our inventory already. So that's really cool. So that works, and that is exactly what we need. Now we're gonna be making the door, and the door is a little bit comp uh, complex. I'm gonna say complexable, but that's not a word. So in the door, you just want to make a part. Part. I'm gonna make the door a little bit precise. I'm just gonna make it like on the studs, like that. I'm just gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna put it up a little bit. Okay. So now this is our little door. 
and this is going to be uh, main door main door so now this is our main door you want to add another door duplicate it and keep it like over there and call it the refer door and put the transparency to one and put everything on but make sure to turn can collide off for the refer door so I'll show you what I mean now we've got a perfect invisible part and just put it where the door is okay now you want to make another part you want to duplicate the refer door you want to rotate it 90 degrees or whatever you want you want to put it at the edge of the door so like kind of like this this is the edge and we're gonna put it at the edge over here too and there we go so the door is gonna go from this side it's gonna go boom over there so that's really cool and we'll just call, call this the rotate door because why not you want to add in you don't need that uh we're gonna in the um, let me see so in here you want to make a script and a proximity prompt yes and hold duration we're gonna set it to one again now what i'm gonna do oh script the parent dot uh proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function player so if player let me zoom in a little bit if player colon wait for child backpack uh so we're gonna check first if you have even a key card that's what we're gonna be checking right now so if player colon wait for child backpack colon wait colon find first child key card then so if you have a key card we're gonna be granting you access so we're going to be doing script apparent dot proximity prompt enabled is equal to false so you cannot like mess around with the door multiple times but only once and over here script apparent dot proximity prompt dot enabled is equal to true so over here we're going to make the rest of our code so over here um, at the top of your script you want to type local t this is the game colon get service tween and you want to make tween service like this local well you can just do tween service alrighty so now you want to do tween service colon create and now we're going to be tweening our door by saying script the parent the parent the door one uh, well main door um let me see so what do we got we got instance instance so we did that tween info tween info got new i'm gonna do time and over here we're gonna define local time and i'm gonna set it to two seconds so it takes two seconds to, uh, to like open the door um so that's good and now we're gonna do enum dot easing style dot uh sign a leaf yep or, or quint is quint yep quint enum dot easing direction dot in out and now you've defined that we're gonna at the end you want to go out of that bracket over here so don't go in here but go here comma and now make those curved brackets and type um position is equals to script a parent dot parent dot rotate door the position and then another comma and then orientation is equals to script dot parent dot parent dot rotate door dot orientation so you got this long enormous long line of code so we're gonna all be going over it so we're making a tween service we're gonna uh, put the main door so it's like we're gonna put the argument to tween we're gonna get some time it takes two seconds for some cool things and we're gonna set the position and orientation at the end make sure to put colon play like this now we're gonna be doing wait time plus one so you got well, wait time plus two actually time plus time we can do that and then we can do the same again so we'll just do this paste it here and instead of rotate door put refer door refer oh no 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 what am i doing uh, door and over here 
Referdor. So this is a really cool, so I'm just gonna put wait time. I don't know if it like takes two seconds. So now we can test this out, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna anchor everything. So let me check. Can't glide off, and they're invisible, so we're gonna click play. So over here, if we hold E, nothing is gonna happen because we don't have the key card. We're gonna get a key card. Try another one. Nope, nothing. And um. Mm-hmm. And that's your backpack. Mm, okay. We're gonna hold this. And as you can see, the door opens and we can pass through. And after two seconds, it's gonna close. So this is the door. Now, but I think if you do this, it's not gonna work. Nope. And that's a reasonable fix. So go back into your script. And over here, type. If player, can wait for child backpack, can find for child uh, key card. Or. If. Or. If, let me see, or player, colon, okay, wait, or player dot character, colon, find first child, key card, then, so this is your script, I'm gonna be doing one more test, okay, get a key card, now if we hold it out, we can also open the door, as you can see, the door opens, and we're gonna get pushed back, Near. Okay, that's really cool. And the thing is, if you hold E, look, the door's gonna open now. Now, if you close the door, once it's back, you can do that again. So, this is the tutorial, and I hope you really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, just subscribe, please. It helps me out a lot. Just please subscribe. No, okay, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And, um, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out, folks.